Definitely had to come see them to get a mid muffler delete and also get my five is tips on there. So y'all stay tuned. Also tell me, man, because you know I'm new to, to the wide body game, so I definitely need some 305s and 315s. So y'all know anybody that I can get some 305s or 315s from, please let me know. So I will be doing that for y'all. But like I said, I'm here at Henry's muffler shop. Man, come see my guys at Wilson, North Carolina. They definitely look out for you, man. They got different vehicles. They do everything. Whatever you want done to your exhaust, they got it for you. So stay tuned. So the mufflers, mid mufflers are done. Um, next thing to do is to finish up with the five inch tips. Once they finish them up, you should be good to go. Take it on back on to Fayetteville. They let my baby down five inch tips man it it really is different with the black tips the five inch tips yeah definitely 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 adhesive remover that takes that off um simple things you need is a towel the adhesive remover this little thing um basically like it scrubs it off when you um you can use a heat gun real easy if you use a heat gun because it, it comes straight off um so we missed the part the phone died when we tried to do the the uh, dodge emblem um but now i'm gonna start on the charger so y'all can see how we did it and i already sprayed the goo gun on there goo gone Goo gone on there already and wiped it off. So all I gotta do now is put the heat gun on and rock out. You can swing it back and forth, just making sure like uh, it gets in there basically. So you can take this uh this symbol off. Super easy. Just gonna get that. And how I can tell that it's kind of like ready to be taken off. I can smell like the the, the rubber because this is actually rubber. Um, you can smell the rubber when the heat, you know, you know that smell. Y'all know that smell. So. See how easy that is. Mm. Take all that off, and just like that, charger removed. Now I'm about to uh, clean this off, and then you'll see the finished product. So to get it off, all you need is spray some more glue going on there. You don't need the heat gun anymore. Just that, just that one step to take that uh, that emblem off. And then what I do is use a little scraper thing. Just get in there. And this does this one does not mess up your paint. 
Um, so I know a lot of people are probably like, man, I'm not trying to mess up my paint, but it's actually like, it doesn't mess it up at all. Um, you just want to make sure that you get in there, make sure you get all this off. So, oh yeah, you're in that scrape. I'm like, dang, he messing up his paint bomb. This is not my first time doing this, but definitely, um, anybody can really do this. It's super easy, super simple. Let's go. Let's see. And I'm gonna go back through it again with the goo gone. Um, just make sure I get all that, all that off there, especially that charger that's still on there. You'll see, it's gonna come right off. Two hours later. I need a car wash too. Crazy. <laughs> It's not good for the environment. Don't do what I did, kids. Throw this away. Be back in a blast. Get some stuff off of there. Finish taking the rest of the black stuff off. Like all this is adhesive remover, adhesive like glue to keep that on there on the car. And you can do this with anything. Um, so if you have a, even though if you don't have a charger, um, if you have like Nissan, Volvo, BMW, you want to debadge anything, definitely um, just make sure you just get that goo gone or any adhesive remover. Take that right off and it'll be good to go. All right, most of it's off. Just so gonna hit the glue on again. And I'm gonna wipe it down. So I make sure I get that. Thank you.